Dilophosaurus is the earliest large predatory dinosaur yet found in North America, which makes it really important to our understanding of how small dinosaurs evolved into giants. So far, only a few bones and teeth have been found here in St. George, but more complete skeletons of Dilophosaurus have been found in the slightly younger Cayenta Formation in Arizona. Those more complete skeletons show us that Dilophosaurus was a powerful predator, growing up to around 20 feet long. But this predator was unlike any before it, in part because it was truly bizarre looking, even by dinosaur standards. The bones of the air-filled sinuses in Dilophosaurus's snout grew up to form two hollow crests on top of its head. Believe it or not, these hollow bony crests are actually quite similar to those found in some modern birds, such as cassowaries and hornbills. But bird-like air-filled bones didn't stop with the crests on Dilophosaurus's head. So one of the unusual features of this vertebra, of this backbone, is that it has a bunch of very thin little sheets of bone all over the place surrounding these little hollow spaces. And what these hollow spaces were, they were filled with actual air sacs in the life of the living animal, very similar to what you see in modern day birds. This adaptation actually lightens the bones, which enabled Dilophosaurus and other large theropod dinosaurs to become giants, while enabling these smaller living theropods to become light enough to take flight. 